What's up traders? So today um, is 4th of September, which is uh, Wednesday. So I just wanted to record a midweek update for you because um, prices have been moving exactly the way we predicted. Okay, if you have not watched our previous Market Outlook video that we uploaded on Sunday, if I'm not wrong, either Sunday or Monday you uploaded it, please watch it because you could see that, uh, like for example, this DXY, which is the dollar index, correct, that we recorded, um, it's just exactly the way that uh, we expected it to be, okay? So in our previous video, we talked about um, these two levels, right, 99 and 99.46, being uh, where all the stop losses are. Okay, because it's a swing high and the stop losses are here. So price has indeed, you know, um, do a pin bar. Okay, so um, lesson 101 in trading, uh, a pin bar is a sign that uh, there's rejection and also is a sign of a big breakout. Okay, just, just take a picture of this with me. People, whenever they see during the day before the candle closes, right, they would buy. So, in, you know, maybe the candle looks something like um, this during the day, right? Uh, let me just draw it. Right, it's green, correct? It looks bullish. So a lot of people, they buy, right? They buy up, right? Because they trade breakouts. They buy, but the day ends like that. So what happened to traders who, you know, bought at this level, this level, you know, somewhere here, let me just, um, you know, you bought at this level, this region. What happens to them? Very simple, they get trapped, okay? And if uh, they put their stop loss below the day low, by now, they probably would have been stopped up, okay? So this is exactly what's happening in um, DXY now, okay? We foresee, right, that uh, with this breakout, we foresee dollar weakening, okay? If you do not know how to use uh, DXY or what DXY is, uh, watch our previous video about DXY because we recorded just a video just for you, okay? Because we understand a lot of people don't know how to use DXY to predict uh, the strength of a USD. Okay, so um, now we have seen a fake out kind of um, showing strengths, uh, signs, of, not sorry, not strengths, but signs of a weakness, right? Uh, we'll probably see a move towards 98.37 level. Okay, however, please take note that um, this DXY is still an uptrend. I mean, uh, very simple, it's still uptrend. So we are probably just looking at a retracement. Okay, so this is a low, this is high, this is a lower. I, I'm sorry, this is a higher low and this is a higher high. Okay, so structurally we are still uh, bullish. Okay, we want to be buying in the long term, but for now we should see some pullback. Okay, so if you take a shot, in a sense you are actually counter trend. Okay, so uh, if you're not yet profitable trading with the trend trades, uh, we advise you not to trade counter trend. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Think of it, if you cannot make money with the easy trades, what makes you think you can actually make money uh, trading, taking the difficult trades, which is counter trade, okay? So the next pair I want to talk about would be uh, gold, okay? because we know that most of you love gold. Um, okay, so gold kind of uh, did a fake out of this level. Uh, let me just draw the level here for you, okay? A lot, what a lot of people did was they bought here, put the stop loss below, okay? And uh, this is kind of like a fake support, right? We Whip people out over here. You see that a lot of people are whip here. People who bought or short, you know, um, they both die. Okay. In this zone, I like to call it the kill zone. Okay. Why do I call it the kill zone? Kill zone because regardless of whether you buy or you sell, if you, you take a position here and your stop loss is tight, you are probably screwed either way. Okay. Let's say you short, right? You short, you're definitely wrong. Let's say you bought and you know you bought somewhere here and here and then you put your stop loss oh you know like you see structure oh this is a, this is you know resistance certain support so i put my stop loss somewhere here this pin bar probably will screw you a big time okay that's why uh, you always want to be very mindful okay at the start of the week we talk about uh, how this week we won't want to be trading uh we won't want to be trading breakouts we want to be fading breakouts okay so what we could have done would be to wait for this level to confirm Right, you see a candle close above, something like that. Put the stop loss below, okay? So anyway, um, price is over here now, okay? Um, it's kind of tricky right now because uh, this is a swing high, okay? This is a swing high. So definitely, you see a lot of stop losses being hunted over here, okay? And uh, today is uh, 4th of September, Wednesday, okay? And price actually closed above, but now it's just, you know, giving dojis along, along this zone. This entire zone here, correct? 
So it's not clear at the moment, okay? But uh, one thing that we always say if you watch our videos is that price has to go to where the stop losses are, okay? So where are the stop losses, okay? Here, this zone here. So naturally, you probably have to do something like that and then it come down, okay? So for now, uh, gold, we, we don't really want to trade it. We want to watch it. So be very careful, okay? We don't expect gold to just uh, burst up like you know, all the way, given that uh, it's whipsaw Wednesday as well as uh, this week is non-farm payroll, okay? Okay, the next currency you want to talk about would be a uh, euro dollar. Okay, this one is very surprising because uh, this currency actually trended, um, I mean, kind of trended. I mean, today is Wednesday, right? So this is Wednesday, this is Tuesday. Um, this is Monday, right? So it kind of went down, but same thing, you look at this pin bar here, it's this very nasty whips, whipsaw, or rather a very nasty uh, trap, okay? Okay, so that's why we keep warning. In fact, uh, some of our positions will stop out, okay? I mean, uh, we are not perfect in trading, okay? We will never get it right perfect. So we always emphasize the importance of applying proper risk management okay so this entire zone is a fake out in fact you can see the departure over here let me just show you here was a very big uh, like a big candle okay in fact we call this something like an extended range candle because uh, it expanded quite significantly uh, above the previous high okay we probably record a video about what erc candles are stand for okay extended range candles okay then again um these are tricks that we learn uh, across the many years of trading um I mean, it, it's good to know. It's not necessary to know, okay? Uh, if you are part of our course, if you enroll to our course, you know that we always emphasize on the need to have very strong fundamentals. Fundamentals means learning how to identify trends, you know, learning how to read the Forex calendar, learning how to read economic data, having a proven system, okay? Because all these are tricks, okay? And tricks can change. And um, if you apply tricks on its own, you won't make money. But when you understand, you know, the whole market context and then you apply tricks, right? Tricks will help improve your results. Okay, you think of it this way. A trick is just to uh, help you make a slightly more money. But if you're not making money, it's not going to help you currently. Okay, so this video will probably record sometime soon. That's the idea that we have right now. So anyway, back to uh, Euro dollar. Okay, so after the fake out, so we probably see higher retracement up. Okay, probably to the uh, previous low. Okay. okay, this annoying. Let me just uh, okay. Um, this one the fake up we believe kind of happened already. So this euro dollar would probably be just a retracement up here. Okay, slowly, slowly and steady. Okay, so this is clearer. Okay, and this is in alignment with uh DXY which we expect to weaken, right? If uh dollar weakens, right, means euro goes up. Okay. So this one, nothing much to say, just retrace higher. Next pair you want to talk about, Aussie dollar. Okay, Aussie has been very bullish. Uh, that was also why we bought, um, we bought Aussie franc. Okay. So you can see that this entire zone is a cluster of, uh, you know, resistance. Used to be a cluster. So let me just draw, you know. If you draw it, you know, depends how you draw it, you know. You kind of at the top of the range, and uh, as you said, you don't need to buy and break out. Okay, so right now, what we see is that uh, this is a swing high. Okay, so as we always say, same thing a lot of stop losses are here, a lot of stop losses are here. Okay, so where must price go to? The stop losses. So it needs to come to here, here to stop it out. Okay, then after that, it'll probably come back down. Okay, but this structure looks very bullish. I mean, I mean, if you look at the departure from this level, uh, let me just draw it for you. Okay, this departure is amazing. I mean, there's a lot of strength in this. Look at this departure here versus this, uh, you know, like, I mean, this departure is kind of strong, but uh, if you compare the downward movement and upward movement, let's say you compare this one here, this down, it took how many candles? Here to here is like um, a lot of candles. Let me just see. Uh, how do I measure it? I'm going to measure it just a moment. Measure. I believe it's this one. Here to here. Okay. This one took 33 bars, you know. So 33 bars is almost seven, 
7 days, 12 hours of trading and now it only takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bars to make the same movement. So at a glance, you know that the market is very bullish, okay? So with that being said, uh, the context changes a bit, okay? So we still expect that price will wipe out the stop losses, okay? Retrace a little, okay? Maybe retrace to somewhere here, okay? Like an inverter here and shoulder, okay? Let me just draw it here, right? This is a left shoulder. Uh, okay, let me, sorry, just let me clear everything. No, it's very messy, okay? This is the left shoulder, right? This is the head, and then this is the right shoulder, potentially, okay? So we are still kind of like more bullish on it. We want to play the bullish side, but we are careful that uh, we, we, you know, we don't want to be trapped buying the breakout, okay? So this one, we have to wait on it, okay? We have to wait on this. The next currency, our favorite one. This is dollar cat, okay? Dollar cat, we already briefed before that. This level, right, the moment is broken, if there's a fake out, we should see a very big uh, down move, which we are in the midst of. In fact, market was very nasty, right? You see here, it kind of went down sell off a bit. Pump it up one more time, okay? Right? Before, it's, it's, it seems like it's selling down right now. The only issue right now is that uh, we don't really see, uh, you know, we don't really see a head and shoulders here yet. Or I mean, a mini head and shoulder. I would prefer it to be like that. And then come down. Okay, so we caution in our, you know, video that we recorded for the week, right? Um, this has a lot of stop loss. It collected a lot of stop losses already. A lot of people have stopped out already. So hopefully uh, you are not stopped out, okay? Because we already briefed you, right? We recorded the video for you, okay? So please don't get stopped out, okay? Now we are saying that dollar is going to weaken, right? Potentially head towards uh, where the stop losses are. So there's definitely a lot of stop loss below this swing low and this swing low, okay? And this is in alignment with our DXY trade, okay? In fact, we might send a signal for dollar cat to short soon, okay? Maybe after this video, we analyze it one more time and send it out, okay? So, um, yeah, okay. Next currency I want to talk about is Kiwi dollar, okay? Previously, we talked about this, okay? Play out exactly as we said, okay? We say that this support here, Watch out for a fake out. Naturally, there's a fake out. Okay, so you see, we you, if you do your homework and you know, you follow what we say, uh, you can actually predict movements like this. Okay, so now it's coming up to here. Okay, so uh, same thing compared to Aussie, um, the departure is very strong over here. Let me just uh, draw it. Departure is very strong. So um and. We kind of see like there's a bit of a double bottom pattern confirmed, right? Uh, one bottom, second bottom, neckline is broken, okay? So um, this new Kiwi dollar, we don't know if there's a full reversal, so we want to be very careful, okay? If you are going to long, this is what you should see. We prefer to wait for it to, uh, let's say this one comes up, breaks, comes down, we want to see this first. We want to see that the trend has changed before we look for um, any, you know, retracement down to buy it up, okay? That's what I want to see, okay? We want to be a bit more cautious because as you can see, I mean, it's obvious as it gets, it has been a long downtrend and this um, double bottom is a bit small, the pattern. So, um, we want to be more cautious. So, as a general rule of thumb, I also want to share with you that um, if, the smaller pattern it is, right, the less significant it is. But if it's a very big pattern, the bigger the movement and the more significant it is. So for example, um, this double top here is more significant than this double bottom because this double bottom is so small. I mean, it, it doesn't, it, it, it didn't take very long to form. So not a lot of people are watching it as well. Okay. Okay, I think we'll just cover one last pair because uh, we, we also want to start sending trades out. So um, this is dollar yen, okay? Dollar yen is so very nasty, right? It, let me just clear this first, okay? So the stop losses, people who bought here were screwed, right? People who placed their stop loss below this is probably screwed as well, okay? So from what we see, price is likely to uh, still go towards here. Take out this stop losses here. Stop losses above this zone, okay? 
Um, actually, we also see like a head and shoulders. Uh, let me just clear everything. So this is like the left shoulder. This is the head and this is the right shoulder. So if you draw the neckline, okay, kind of uh, seems broken. Okay, let me just confirm. Okay, on a daily chart, not very clear whether it's broken or not. Okay, depends, really depends on how you draw it. Okay. Uh, but one thing that we, we don't really like to say that this is broken yet, because uh, you know when it comes to trading here and shoulders can be very it can be very um tricky. Because what happens is price can do this first. Um, let me just can do this first, right, to make the right shoulder before it comes down. Okay, so based on experience, uh, just let me, okay, based on experience, we're going to say that this is probably going to be a fake breakout, okay? We are not buying this at the moment, okay? Based on experience, okay? We're not buying this breakout now. So in fact, we want to be fading this big breakout. So at this moment, our trade setup would be uh, not to see this breakout as a valid breakout, but to wait for price to close above maybe uh, this high which is uh, 106.80. When price close above this, we are looking for buy opportunity to, uh, to hunt out the other stop losses, which is this recent high. Okay? okay? We will not short at this moment. Okay? As, as I said, uh, this week is not the week to trade breakout, so we will pick up, um, we will fade all the breakouts. Okay? And so this is just one example of how we uh, fade the breakout. We wait for the breakout to happen, then we wait for price to undo the breakout, and then we take a trade. Okay? So I think that will be all for today because this has been a very long video. Maybe probably even one of the longest we have recorded so far. So if you have, if you have any questions, uh, write in to us, comment down below. Okay, um, talk to us, right? Talk to us because we love to hear your struggles, your concerns. Uh, we're always trying to add value to you, but you cannot add value to you if uh, you do not tell us what's happening with you, like some issues that you face, okay? So hit the subscribe button if you have not, and um, we are very excited to announce our first scholarship uh, giveaway this uh, in like five days time. Okay, so if you have not uh, followed our instructions to qualify for our giveaway, please do so. Okay, because this is the best way for you to learn everything from us without paying a dime. Okay, we want to grow this channel, right? Not just our Telegram channel, but our YouTube channel because we want to help more aspiring traders like yourself. Okay, we've been through like a lot. Okay, lost a lot of money. And uh, we, we understand what you're going through. Okay, so we don't want this to happen to you also. So please, okay? Please make sure you, you uh, control your risk and um, try, try your best, right? To learn as much as you can from us. And we'll see you in the next video.